Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Geotech Office and thanks for clicking. Uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, the five very important research topic and that seems to me dynamic and of course you will get much interest working on this particular topics. So I think you will enjoy the video and let's watch the videos to the end. Uh, well, the first topic is hydrological simulation model of river discharge analyzing uh, using GIS and remote sensing. Uh, this is a very important topic. You can work on it because a hydrological model can generate a stream flow and estimates and trends over long periods of time. A model can generate historical currents of natural streams, flow records, and it can be used to generate future yields or scenario modeling. Having a long-term records allow a statistical analysis to be performed over a period of time, and that is not influenced by extremes of droughts or floods. The next topic is prediction and estimation of sea level rising using GIS geospatial technologies. All right, we all know about the greenhouse effect and the consequences of global warming due to the emission of the toxic gases and more especially the global warming. Uh, causing ascent or greenhouse gases the global temperatures getting high day by day one of the main consequence of the global warming is the sea level rise because of the melting of the ice caps so you can work on it to predict and estimate the sea level rise using gis and remote sensing so this is really dynamic and very emergency. Well, and the third topic is application of GIS and remote sensing in detection of soil erosion and sediment delivery. We all know that erosion affects wildlife, public and private properties and contributes to pollution so erosion and sediment control is very important erosion control is more especially important because uh, excess dirt construction material chemicals and other pollutants will be carried into runoff if proper steps are not taken so if you want to provide a guideline you must work on it so this can be a more interesting topic for you to uh, work I'm sorry it, it should be number four estimation of changes in forest cover or social forestry using GIS and remote sensing uh, this is one of the important topic of GIS remote sensing because human interaction causes the loss of forest cover areas in our society. So if we want to protect it from being destruction and if we want to conserve it, we must, we must work to uh, know how much forest land has been degraded and how much available. So if you want to find it out through the EU application of the geospatial technologies, we can easily take help from GIS and remote sensing. And number five, monitoring of shoreline changes using GIS and remote sensing. This is really interesting topic for me 
uh, because uh, shoreline change is one of the most common natural processes that prevail upon coastal areas. The most important aspects of managing coastal areas is identifying the location and changes over time of the shoreline. And it requires frequent monitorings of the shoreline using satellite images over time. So this is this is uh, this can be an, one of the main topic or one of the important uh, topic to research. And this is how we can conserve and protect the shoreline changes and shoreline erosion uh, from the tidal web and protect the coastal community from the uh, from the ha hazard and from the uh, uh, destruction of their houses and other properties so i think uh, you have enjoyed the video and i will make another video with different gis research topics in the next coming days and uh, keep you watching and get in touch with our channel Thank you very much.